Okay, Corbin, let's start off with something that's not super fun. Let's talk about the last game against Umeå. Uh, we had a big lead in ha at halftime. What happened after that? Uh, we just stopped defending in the second half. We got complacent. Um, we knew that they was going to come out and try to make the game physical. They did. They tried to rough us up and uh, get our focus off the game and thinking about them. And we feel like we fell into that trap and just didn't focus down the stretch to make uh, the right plays to come out with a victory. But at the end of the day, we just got to move on from it, learn from it. We watched film yesterday, learn from our mistakes, and then looking forward to uh, redeeming ourselves tomorrow. So what have you learned from those mistakes so far? We just got to uh, have a, a level of focus down the stretch of a game, especially coming into the, the end of the season, going into the playoffs. We know that team's going to try to do anything to try to get us off our game, anything to try to distract us, anything to try to get himself an edge. And so just coming into the game, just knowing that we, from for, for the whole 40 minutes that we just got to have that same level of focus, uh, same level of intensity, and just come out there and just do what it, what it needs to be done to just get the victory. And tomorrow, Friday, we have a, a game against the top team, Jämtland. Uh, what can you say about that team? Uh, they're good. They like to score the ball, for sure. Um, you know, they like to get up and down, run in transition. They try to score early. Uh, they try to uh, put up a lot of points. They, they're not looking to really defend. They're just looking to outscore you. So we know that's a game that we got to come out here and really be locked in on the defensive end, really slow them down in transition, and just come out there and just, and just put together a full 40 minutes of, of, of intensity, of focus, and just playing the way that we want to play. How important is it for us to have the ability to bounce back after losing a tough game last game and then winning now? I feel like that's, one, that's been one of our strengths this year. Uh, we feel like we've lost a few games um, that we shouldn't have lost, but we haven't been able to. But we, we haven't allowed ourselves to hang our heads. We've just been able to bounce back and uh, redeem ourselves. So we're looking forward to doing the same thing tomorrow. And just coming out here, we just uh, we know we're gonna have a packed crowd coming out here and just give uh, the crowd a show and, and doing what it takes um, to win. And one big storyline is the hometown kid, Adam Rönnqvist in Jämtland, the player with number one on his shirt coming home. What do you think of him as a player? He's good. Um, he, he's a ball player, man. He, uh, he can score the ball, he can shoot it. Um, so we just got to do everything we need to do to, uh, to stop him. Um, put different bodies on him, uh, put different defenders on him, give him different looks off screens and things like that, and just make it as hard as possible. And we know he's a good player, so we know he's going you know to get his and score in some of his spots. But as long as we just make him work, and especially make him work on the defensive end, we feel like we'd be good like the other three games. All right, thank you. <laughs>